So here's a new video quick tip. It's update from an older video. A few things have changed as far as how to add reviews to your page. Number one, sometime last year, I can't really remember when, but I noticed it back in, I want to say the fall, so September, October maybe, you no longer need to have a local business um, or your address to have reviews on your page. The way to get reviews on your page is to go to the settings tab and you want to go here where it says reviews and the default setting is to have reviews turned off. Click on edit and click on allow visitors to review this page and save your changes. Now the next thing is to have a tab because let me go back to the page and show you that nowhere here are my reviews on the page and I don't have any posts because I don't post on this page. This is just a, a page I use for my apps as one of the legs of my business. So I'm going to go back into settings. I have allowed reviews, but now what I need to do is add the reviews tab. So under settings, you next want to select edit page and down here you want to go and add and mine's kind of long. Your shirt probably isn't as long as mine. And if you haven't already added it, click on add a tab. These are going to be tabs that you have not yet added to your page that Facebook offers. These are not third party apps. These are the ones that are provided with your page that you can add. So I'm going to click reviews to add that and hit close. And if you don't want um, something showing that's part of this, you can always go in here and remove it. Um, so if I don't, if I'm not going to use notes or don't need them to be shown, I can turn them off, hit save. Um, and then when I go to add a tab, notes will be on this list to add it back if I wanted to. You can also rearrange where you want it to show. If I want my reviews all the way at the top, I'll put them all the way at the top. And that kind of determines um, how they show on the page. So I'm going to click page over here to go back out. And my reviews tab is now there, but it's also visible here for someone to leave a review. Now I don't have any reviews left, but if I did, the reviews would then show up right here um, where it says the type of page that I have. I do not have a local business. It's set up as a company or institution with the a subcategory of consulting agency. Uh, and I have not added my address in my about section either. So when I go to about, um, there's very little information here and there's certainly not a, a physical address. So they will only show there once you get your first review. So I don't have any reviews on this page, so that's why um, there's nothing there. But if I go to the reviews tab, I can then um, see them all if they were here. Now I can leave myself my own review. Just I'm going to do that just to show you how that looks. And I could say something about it, but I'm going to leave this part blank and just click on done. And now if I go back out to the home page, you'll see that my reviews are there. So I have one review, it's a five star review and it shows right there. Now, the one thing I wanna mention about reviews is there's nothing you can do when someone else reviews your page and needs to remove it, but you can remove your own. So the person who left the review can come up here and delete it because I left this review. But I wouldn't be able to do that if someone else left a review. So to show that I've had, um, I'm gonna use my friend's account to have come in here and leave a review. Then I'm actually going to come in and delete both of these uh, so that you can see how that works. This is um, my friend's account. When she comes here, she'll see that up at the top or I can send her directly to the reviews tab if I don't have any yet for her to leave a review. It's also available here um, where I can just do it right here. But in that, without having to have someone search for it, I can just send them directly there or I can click, the person can click here if they see my reviews. Either way, it's going to get to this section here where she can leave a review for me. So if she also leaves a five star review, um, she could even say, um, you know, awesome working with you. Thanks for all your help. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. This is my friend leaving a review there. I'm going to go back um, to logged in as me. Okay, I've got a little pop notification here that someone left me a review, but if I'm not on and I don't see that um, to click on it, I can always get to it by clicking on reviews as well. So I'll be able to see all my, you know, if I go from the notifications by um, under the activity tab here, but 
let's say I wasn't on when it happened and I didn't see that pop up down here. I can go then to reviews or click on here either way to get to the reviews and see them. And now there are two reviews, both five stars, one with a comment, one without. Now I can delete my own because that's me because those are the options available to the person who uh, left it. But I cannot delete this because she's not me. Now I can um, you know, save it for later, link to it if, I, if it was a really good review and I want to highlight it or embed it on my web page, turn on notifications so I can get notifications about comments here. Um, I can report it, you know, if someone's using like bad language, like F you and something like that, definitely report it and Facebook um, will look into it and probably remove it for reasons like that. But if someone just gives you a bad review, your options really, um, and I don't think that there's, if they don't leave a, um, like a text part of it and she just gave me the stars, like one star, the option to report won't be there. You can only report something that they say if it's against their standards. You can't report somebody for giving you a bad review. So it's really important to note that once you get a review, you can't remove them if they're negative. The best thing you could do is try to contact the person who left the review, work something out with them, you know, try to make them happy, do your customer service, and then maybe they can come back and edit their review. But it's really up to them. There's nothing you can do about it only the person who posted it. So as myself, I can come in here and delete my own review. Delete. And I can go into my friend's account and have her come here and delete her own review. But let me just see, I'm gonna show something really quick. If I just edit it and I take out the text just to try something. So yeah, you ha if you type anything, it has to be at least 50 characters, but you could also just leave a blank and just leave a five-star review. Let me go back really quick. Now, let me refresh because this has since been changed and there's the little notification, but let me refresh. So now I've got just the one review because I deleted my own. And you'll notice if I scroll down a little so I can show you, that option to report it is gone. There's only these three. It used to be four options, report post. There's nothing to report because she didn't write anything. I can't report her for just leaving me one star or two stars. So just a little FYI about that. So let me go back in and just make sure I delete it as my friend's account. Delete, delete. And now if I just refresh, this is what she sees. There are no reviews. So if I just refresh, I have no reviews under here, the reviews tab. And if I just go back out to the home page, um, that five star rating is gone because that was my only review. So um, it's gone from there as well. So I hope this was helpful. If you have questions about this or anything else, be sure to register for my free Q&A that I do once a month at monicaramos.tv slash live. And for more quick tips and videos like this, check out monicaramos.tv slash FB tips. You can get to either of those links from the other. So hopefully this has helped you. Hopefully I can help you in the future. And until next time, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.